hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my youtube channel in today's video i am going to show you how i painted this water lilies with watercolors so i am going to go through the materials and i am going to start with the brushes so i am using a soft round brush number four an angle brush number four an angle brush number two and a detail brush um, I am also obviously going to use some clean water. I am going to use Arches watercolor paper cold press, which is the one that has texture. And for the watercolors, I am going to use indigo as well as cadmium yellow and a little bit of turquoise for, um, for a different kind of a limey yellow. Um, I am also going to use acrylic gouache. I just happened to have this one handy and I thought I would use it for the boat. Um, and I'm going to also use, this is very optional of course, the, these are for details. So this is an acrylic pen that is from the brand name Molotow. And you can find all the links to all the materials down in the description below. So going into the tutorial, I am just going to go ahead and prep the paints. So I'm just wetting them with my brush. It could be with any brush. You can use a spray, but I just want to have some paint ready for, um, for mixing. So what I am going to start with is um, a wet on dry. So I am not pre-wetting the paper. I am literally going in directly with the paint. So turquoise and cadmium yellow give a little bit of a limey kind of um, green. It's very um, lime color. Then gradually I am going to add indigo um, to the mixture because um, I want to create a little bit of depth and contrast. So I'm just going to paint sort of like the first layer, which is the water, the quote unquote water layer. Um, so it's just pretty straightforward just keep adding some color to add texture to add variation and then just let it dry then on a separate piece of paper what i'm going to do is just practice my um my my leaf shapes basically the round the very typical round leaves that are in the pond in the water lily pond so I am going to use the angle brush number four and eventually I'll change to the uh, to the two just to get a different variation in size. So to give you guys a better angle, I'm just showing you that it's literally grabbing one edge of the brush and holding it down um, to create the center of the water lily and of the leaf. I don't really know what they're called, but like the, the green leaves, if those are called leaves, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but that is basically what I'm doing. I am dipping basically the brush in yellow or the green mixture. And the very tip of the brush, I am adding a little bit of the indigo um, to create a nice dark edge. Um, so that is basically what I'm doing. I am just practicing my shapes. Now with the indigo, I am going to go ahead and add the details of these uh, round leaves and call them. So I'm just kind of just following the shape of, um, of the water lily, add a little bit of detail on the inside and just it's pretty straightforward. Thank you. 
All right, so now that I have practiced um, on a side piece of paper, I'm gonna move on to my dried piece of uh, painting that I had done before and just making sure that it's very dry. So I am going to go through the exact same process that I just did, but this time like on the actual painting. So I'm just grabbing um, the, in the cadmium yellow and then just very lightly the tip of the brush I am going to um, dip it on the dark indigo so it's just the very tip and then that way it'll create like a really nice contrast within the round shape so I'm gonna go through the process of um, painting the 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 leaves in the entire pond and I'll leave you guys with some music while I just get on that Okay, so now that I am done basically uh, painting all of my layers of leaves, then I am going to go ahead and add the details like I had done before in my kind of example that I, that I practiced. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly like uh, mixed indigo or like pure indigo. Like it could be um, like a really dark green or um, yeah, basically a dark color basically. So I'm using my indigo and I'm gonna go ahead and outline and add the details to all my um, round palm leaves basically. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and again I'll leave you guys with some nice music and I really hope you enjoy this little process of adding the details.
All right, so now that I am basically done with all the details, what I'm going to do is add shadows. So I'm going, I like to add shadows because it gives a depth to the painting. So with a very light um, kind of green, I am going to add, um, like differentiate which of my leaves are on top and which are in the bottom, like underneath other ones, or just give it that look that they are um kind of floating in the water um currently without the shadows they look a little bit too flat so just very carefully with the detail brush i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a shadow Okay, so now that I am done with the details of the water and the shadows, I am going to go ahead and paint the boat. I am using the acrylic gouache in gold and I had left a space in the corner because I knew that's where the boat was going to be. And I am just drawing the basic shape of the boat, kind of oval, kind of like halfway, um, like of the boat shape so I'm not doing a full boat but you guys you know can go ahead and like do a full boat if you wish but that is kind of what I'm doing today um, with my boat so I'm going to first uh, paint the main shape and the wonderful thing with gouache or acrylic is that it's very opaque so I can just paint directly on top of my watercolor and it's just very smooth and no transparency and it looks like a real boat basically so while the boat gouache dries i'm going to add these little fishes that i learned how to paint a while back is a very simple shapes with a little bit of water and um i will attempt to paint a few fishes to give it a little bit of the look of um, of a pond really so um, not my best attempt at fishes but I hope you guys like these little fishes
Okay, so now I am going to use a white acrylic. I, I just happen to have this one on this pen form. And I am going to add a few details on the water to give it a little bit of a highlight. Um, and I am going to use it as well on the leaves. And eventually I'm going to use it as well for uh, to paint a little hat on the boat and sort of like quote unquote pretend that there's, there is um, a person in the boat. So I am just adding little highlights so it looks like these little leaves are like shining in a way or have a few droplets of water and stuff like that. So it's just a little detail um, to give it a little bit more um, and depth and kind of movement. Okay, now that I am done with the highlights and the water and the little leaves, I am going to add kind of a base layer for um, for the flowers in the pond. So um, it's very simple shapes, kind of like a star um, to give it a little bit of a, um, a base uh, color to the flowers. So now I'm going to move on and paint the round shape of the hat um, and uh, that will kind of give the illusion that somebody is um, in the boat, like basically driving the boat. So now again I am going to use the detail brush to do the outline of the boat and the boat details. So this is just indigo and um, watercolor and the detail brush. So it's just a little bit of detail to give the boat the main kind of shape of, of a boat with like a little wood bench or something like that. So this is just kind of um, whatever you guys want to do with your little boat. Um, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, so I had not introduced this material previously, but I am going to use poster color. You can use acrylic or you can use gouache, but I just happen to have this poster color laying around and um, this is for the flowers. So I am using the same detail brush that I've been using all along and I am going to just draw a little kind of flower shape. It doesn't have to be anything um, super detailed, just the kind of illusion that there is a flower, a little flower pond um, in, in this pond, in this water lily pond. So um, just I am doing it only over the parts that I had painted white before. So that's why I painted the white. I wanted to give it a base uh, for the flowers to kind of really pop out and stand out. So that is uh, this step. So now that the flowers are done um, and my white acrylic for my hat is completely dry, I am just adding with indigo again just to keep things simple. I don't want to add extra colors or at this point I feel like I have too much color. Um, so I'm just keeping it super simple. I am just adding the main shapes of um, the hat. Just kind of make it look like it's a hat and just call it a day basically i don't want to overdo it 
Okay, so this step is super optional. Like I just love these acrylic pens so much that I have to find a way to use them whenever I can. So I'm just going to add some really small like details, like little um, kind of abstract details to, to call it something. Just this doesn't add or give extra you know movement to the painting like it's just a cute detail that i like to add to my paintings and it is of course absolutely optional like the way the painting is right now it's perfect i just if i have an opportunity to use these pens i will use them so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you learned anything please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to share if you guys really enjoy this video um, with your friends. And you can also always follow me on Instagram at Love Letters to Milo. I upload uh, obviously shorter videos and uh, much more often. I, I post almost daily on Instagram. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the materials or about the process. Um, I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So I will see you guys in the next video and I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.